Luke explains that many people have written about the events that have occurred based on what eyewitnesses and followers of the word have shared. After carefully investigating everything from the start, Luke decided to write an orderly and accurate account for Theophilus. His goal is to help Theophilus be certain about the truth of what he has been taught. In the time of King Herod, a priest named Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth were righteous but had no children because they were old and Elizabeth couldn't conceive. While Zechariah was serving in the temple, an angel appeared and told him that Elizabeth would have a son named John, who would be great in God's eyes. Zechariah doubted this because of their age, so the angel made him mute until it happened. Elizabeth later became pregnant, and she praised God for his favor. This is Mary. Mary lived about 2,000 years ago in Israel, in a town called Nazareth. One day, when she was alone at home, a messenger from God appeared to her, an angel. Mary was scared, but the angel said to her, Mary, don't be afraid. God wants to give you a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be called the Son of God, and will be a king of all the peoples. But wait, Mary responded, confused. How can that be possible, since I've never even slept with a man before? God himself will be the father, and his spirit will cause you to become pregnant. Well then, Mary replied, I trust in God, and I believe that what you said will happen. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. When he found out that she was pregnant, he was really upset. One night he was thinking it over. The child isn't mine, but what should I do? I could publicly accuse Mary of committing adultery but then she would most likely be sentenced to death. Maybe it would be best to just leave her secretly and quietly slip away. While he was thinking about all of this, he fell asleep. He had a dream in which he also was visited by an angel who said to him, Joseph, take Mary as your wife. She's telling the truth. The child really is from God. Name him Jesus because he will be the one who can set everyone free from their sin. So Mary and Joseph got married, but they didn't sleep with each other until after Jesus was born. Mary hurried to visit Elizabeth in Judea. When Mary arrived, Elizabeth's baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, joyfully praised Mary, calling her blessed. Later, Elizabeth gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives celebrated with her. On the eighth day, they planned to name the baby Zechariah after his father, but Elizabeth insisted he be named John. When Zechariah confirmed this by writing, his name is John, his speech was restored, and he praised God. Everyone in the area was amazed and wondered what the future held for the child, knowing God's hand was with him.